Good afternoon. My name is Luke, and I'm the CEO of Agracy. Agracy is the ocean agriculture company. Quite simply, we grow rice in the oceans. Today, and for every day this year, 3.5 billion people will rely on rice for their staple food. That's almost half the world's population, with the demand set to double by 2050. And yet, this $311 billion industry is already struggling to produce enough. With the continued climate change we're experiencing, this is what Vietnam will look like by 2030. The Mekong Delta is already being flooded by the rising sea levels, and by 2050, the entire southern agricultural region will be underwater. Fresh water is a finite resource. 70% today go towards our agriculture, and rice uses more than any other crop. This has led to so many other countries being in a similar situation. So we decided to adapt to create oceanic, salt-tolerant crops. We did this by identifying a handful of genes that allow organisms such as mangroves and seagrasses to activate their salt tolerance and thrive in the oceans. Rice has these same genes. So we transformed rice stem cells and accelerated the evolution of those genes using our gene gun, shown here. We can then regenerate those into full plants that have gained the ability to grow in the ocean. Our rice is not GMO, since we do not incorporate any genes from any other species. Our genetic design is based off four key pillars that have each been individually proven over the past 70 years through in-depth academic research. Each of these pillars manages the concentration of our salt between the plant and its environment. Our genes, localized within the roots, shuttle the ions through the plant tissues to create a buffer against further salt entry and prevent and pump out any excess salt. During a debio, we have transformed over 2,000 plants and are now selecting for oceanic salt tolerance. Over the next two months, we will steadily increase the salt concentration, select for optimal varieties, and perform genetic analyses to show stability across generations. Our farm design is being crafted by a world-class architectural firm that already has extensive experience working with floating ocean cities in the South China Sea. This is just concept art, but it shows a few key features, including our catarang harvester that clips and collects our rice heads, the octagon fields that can unspool or aggregate to mitigate wave stress, or the modularity that allows us to scale to demand rapidly and with ease. These octagon fields can be launched from shore and remotely controlled to be situated anywhere between one and 200 kilometers from the coastline. Here, they can take advantage of the abundance of nutrients carried around the world by the deep sea Arctic and Antarctic currents. As these currents approach the continent, they rise to the surface. We use technology to enhance this upwelling and create the ideal locations for our farms. My incredible co-founder didn't think this was enough. And so he is developing a bacterial recruitment technology that, is methane ne that acts as a methane negative natural fertilizer. Our unique vision for the future of agriculture has already gained international recognition from some of the greatest governments and largest organizations around the world. This has led to multiple offers for, for pilot plot locations, including Vietnam, Bangladesh, and even the Bahamas. Farmers today have to pay leases on their land over many years. With Agrisee's ocean agriculture, you pay a one-time manufacturing fee, you don't use any fresh water and no fertilizer. This completely changes the economics of farming, making our ocean farms more profitable than farming on land, be that in greenhouses, on farmland itself, or in hydroponics. Because our rice is methane negative, the carbon credits we generate from growing our rice offsets the capex of deploying these farms. Our first act 
we to license this technology out to a global agricultural firm that can distribute our plants around the world through existing agricultural channels. We will use this revenue to expand our crop portfolio, honor food security contracts with nation states, and deploy our own, ocean, our own ocean farms that can allow us to supply multinational food companies. And I'm very happy to announce that we are already in discussions with two of the big four agricultural companies, seven nation states, and three multinational food companies. Our team is based off a friendship of over six years, with myself as CEO, and my co-founder Rory as CSO. We met at Durham University in the UK, where we both gained master's degrees in plant genetics and tissue regeneration, respectively. Jude joins us as an investor, having previ previously been an early investor in Ginkgo Bioworks, Benchling, and Gusto, while Adam brings his expertise of the agronomy and agricultural sector as a senior vice president of revenue at Granular. We have filed our provisional patent with WSGR that has been strategically crafted to protect our genetic design as we expand our crops into the ones most critical to our society today. We are also very excited to be working with key policymakers, both locally and internationally, that can help us create policy that will govern the deployment of our farms along coastlines around the world. Agracy started as a dream, to feed 10 billion people and eradicate world hunger. During our time at IndieBio, we made the first steps to achieving that dream. By the end of this year, we will have our first pilot pots deployed, and by the end of 2022, we predict that we will produce enough food to feed a million people. Our seed round is open at 2.4 million, which we'll be using to expand our crop portfolio, deploy our own ocean pilot plots, and expand the Agracy family. That's the core of who we are. Agracy is the sustainable future of agriculture. Now let's take the 3.5 billion we can already feed and raise it to 10. Thank you.